All right. So today we're going to talk about the fact that, you know, the Tony van der Veek is in talks to leave Manchester United. Yes, you heard that you can read the full article from Metrocode.uk. You can export the full article from over there. It's a very nicely written article where they talk about different facts, you know, talk about football and all that. And you can also see these this news on Sky Sports and other trusted football websites, which is Donny van der Veek doesn't see a future of himself at Manchester United. And which is quite true, sadly. And he has been one of the talents that has been wasted by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Because right now Ajax is in excellent form and had he had he not left Ajax back at that time, it is evident that you know he would have been in much better form right now. So it's a very evident issue that you know right now Manchester United isn't a good place for Van der Vick to be in. So that's why I guess he's planning to quit Old Trafford. This is one of the latest news because he has not been utilized, he has not been given enough time and he has not been, you know, he has not been utilized properly. So that's one of the sad things that we've seen. And we, another article we can explore from, you know, uh, another article we can explore from is that espn.com we can go to espn.com where we talk about you know different policies of donny van der Veek. you know so yeah let's look at what espn has to say so what donny van der Veek has said that according to espn you know Solskjaer seems extremely reluctant to basically, you know, use Van der Veek, you know, to utilize Van der Veek. Solskjaer is extremely reluctant and the Ajax star doesn't see a particular future with Manchester, you know, with Manchester United if this keeps on going. But if there is a change in the manager, in that case, Van der Veek might think about you know, making a change, making a difference. If there is a change in manager, then Van der Veek will surely think about making a change. Because he's not getting enough time. He's not getting time. He's not getting resources. He's not getting any kind of support. So let's see, you know, another trusted site. Let's see what some other site has to say. This is according to, you know, this is according to, you know, this is as per my assessment. Okay. This this is as per my assessment that Van der Veek is he's sick and he's sick and tired of being ignored on the bench. You know, he has been ignored for a long time and he has had enough and now you know he is just you know, he has decided to basically Metro.uk. He's had enough. And, prov and, and provided now, if changes aren't made right now properly, he has decided to leave the club. And I agree with him. I support him. You know, I support him because he has done enough. You know, he has done a He has tried his best. He has tried his absolute best. You know, he has done his best, but the club hasn't given him any support. The club hasn't, you know. And currently, a lot of big clubs are, you know, as you can see from footballtransfers.com, a lot of big clubs want him, such as clubs like Arsenal, you know, clubs like, you know, Dortmund, clubs like, you know, Everton, clubs who are doing quite well ri right now, you know, they all want him. All of them want him. They've identified the talent that he has. And even Ten Hag is a big fan of his playing. He has said, you know, very good things about him. He has said that, you know, how Donny is in good form. How is he is one of the best, you know, that they can hope to have, you know, and and Everton currently want a Donny van der Veek, Dortmund want any Donny van der Veek, you know, and also Arsenal want a Donny van der Veek. They all have their eyes on him. They want him and they want him to play for them, and. And they are urging, you know, they have urged Donny van der Veek and they have said that they are going to resurrect his career. 
Arsenal are going to resurrect Donny van der Beek that career that's what they have been said you know they have said they are they are going to you know resurrect his big career but Donny van der Beek to Arsenal would be a big mistake because that is one of the reasons is that he has suffered a torrid and you know he can play and Kevin Campbell you know one of the you know has said that he can excellently fit into the Highbury squad that's because you know that's because he can play anywhere Donny van der Wieg is a player who can play anywhere he can play in the attacking place he can play in the holding it he can play in the midfield he can play in absolutely anywhere van der Wieg is a player who can absolutely play anywhere so I don't know why you know and Manchester United have been slammed because you know Paul Inc has said several others have said that Manchester United have don't have any plans for van der Wieck or Sancho two very good players who they're just keeping on the bench they're keeping these players just to warm the bench that's all they don't seem to have any more plans he's just sitting there I mean then why 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 spend so much money on a great player get them and then make them sit on the bench and play players like Fred and Maguire you know you're constantly playing players like Fred and Maguire right now it's almost like a relationship I mean I mean they have to come on they have to get in they have to get on they have to do this or else you know or else it won't do currently right now Fred and Maguire you know they're always they're, they're always present but players like Van der Wieck and players like you know Sancho, they're being ignored. They're being ignored constantly. They're being ignored all the time. So that's a very big issue. That's something we cannot look past. That's something we cannot ignore. That's something we have to look into. You can't ignore the good players and you know and play players who are who are subpart or who aren't good enough. You can't constantly do that. That's very bad. That's a very bad choice. And another news for today that I would like to point out is that Manchester United have been slammed for, you know, having no plans for Sancho. I mean, they don't seem to have any plans for Sancho. You know, Manchester United have been slammed because, you know, they, they don't seem to, have any, have to seem to have any plans for Sancho and Van Der Wieck. They're just bench warmers right now. Which is quite, you know, it's a very, it's a weird, you know, it's, it's a very weird, you know, occurrence. You get some great players, you know, you, you spend almost a hundred million, hundred and twenty-one million dollars on a player and you then make him sit on the bench. I mean, what's that? I mean, yeah, I mean, so, so why even bother doing that? You know, I mean, why would you, you know, why would you even bother then, you know, keeping, hiring them? Okay, so several sources are saying that, you know, that, you know, that, you know, that players like, you know, and Newcastle are now eyeing. It, this is another great news I've just seen on Football 365. It's a great, you know website you know you can go out here you know, you can check there you know news and everything so another news is you know the arsenal and newcastle are now eyeing for manchester united trio this is another news you know this is one of the major news is that arsenal and newcastle are now you know and as well as barcelona barcelona arsenal and newcastle are now eyeing the trio of Manchester United. They are eyeing for Van der Wieck, Henderson, and Lingard because these players are in good form. You know, they are in good form right now. These players are in good form, and they're eyeing them. You know, they're absolutely eyeing them. I mean, they they are eyeing them, and you know, you can't blame them for doing this. I mean, because ev everyone needs a good player, you know, you can't blame because everyone needs a good player. Everybody you know, needs a good player, somebody, a good goalkeeper, you know. 
I mean, people, you know, people need a good player. People need a good CDM. People need a good midfielder. And Lingard is in good form. I mean, you've seen how well he's performed in the in the Euro Cup, right? So I mean, you know, I mean, so I mean, it, it's almost like Donny is a misfit now. I mean, he's been disrespected. So he's been disrespected to the point where basically, you know, I mean, it's it's almost it's. It's like it's a waste of talent. It's it's really sorry. It's really sorry to see Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has brought Manchester United to a very bad situation. And that's what I want to say. I just want to give an update that, you know, in conclusion, I want to give an update where I want to say, you know, that I hope Zidane comes on board. And if Zidane comes on board, I'm sure, you know, Donny will get a chance to play. Sancho will get a chance to play. Henderson will get a chance to play, you know. And several United players, you know, I feel mis misled after, you know, over Solskjaer's reluctance to rotate. I mean, he doesn't even know how to rotate players. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer doesn't know, even know how to rotate players properly. He does, doesn't know how to give a healthy rotation of players. I mean, yours, yours, supposedly he promised the players, you know, in summer he would give a proper rotation of players. But he's been unable to, you know, fulfill that. So this was a news update where basically I want to say that the players and the board they're all fed up of ole but few people are still supporting him i don't know why you know all we need is a is a few more games of loss to get him out i guess you know and newcastle and arsenal and barcelona are eyeing manchester united misfits you know van der Veek, sancho and henderson because they are players in very good form and this is something we can really use in the right now so I'll be coming up with more news. Till then, take care.